Hello guys and welcome to our show. It's uh, yes, it's a Raymond show today. Emily probably come, not sure. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about a few things, mainly more into the mental health aspect because I've been dealing with mental health a lot lately. Like um, I go to therapy. I have a lot of issues with my body too. Like and I do have anxiety, and I think some other symptoms. I'm still trying, I'm still waiting to figure out what I have. But before I get into the show, just remember to um, share this with everyone. Like our social media pages, and call in if you want to be a guest speaker, if you want to comment anything I'm talking about today, the number is 647-857-4454. So, it's not a bad day today. It was pretty cold too. So we're going to go into a little bit about anxiety, because that's what I've been dealing with. So there's a group of different um, anxiety like characteristics, like different types, right? So... And they also have different effects on your body. Like there's different factors like abuse and, you know, neglect. There's also, you know, per other disorders that kind of relate around it, like depressive disorder, personality disorder, substance use, different things. Oh, okay. here she is. Um, high pro, oh, sorry. Other problems that may result in similar, similar um, symptoms include hyperthyroidism, heart disease, caffeine, alcohol, or cannabis use, which can also withdrawal, you can get seizures and stuff from that too. But without treatment, they tend to remain, I don't know, hostile, I guess you can say, right? Treatment can come in different forms. Um, what was I gonna say? Sorry. Yeah, treatment can come in different forms, and technically I'd say therapy, um, one second, guys. Okay. Technically, I can say um, if you do therapy, you can do different kind of things. There's also a lot of um, psychiatry, different medications. Antidepressants, I find, they don't really work. They don't. I gotta agree with you on yeah, that. Yeah, they, 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 they don't really work. I was on a, an antidepressants for about three months, three, four months. Garbage. I tried another one. It sounds like anti seizure medication. Same kind of concept. Garbage. Don't mind me asking, what types of medication were you on? Don't mind me asking. Uh. I'll share my experiences with you. I think Nord Nortriplin was the general antidepressant they gave me. Nord Nortriplin is like a more of a generic brand, and they know I can't take generic brand stuff. Is it like uh, Sertraline or Prozac or I, those? Maybe it's more like Prozac. I was on that. Maybe, maybe it's like Prozac. Prozac. I was on another one called Gabapentin, yeah. which is supposed to help with um seizure medication, like um, mm -hmm. seizures. I don't get seizures. I mean, I've had like kind of borderline strokes, but not seizures. Right. I guess there's a so. difference. I don't know too much about them. And their procedures well, where you like almost faint, like epilepsy, isn't it? Kind of, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like you yeah. lose control of your body. But strokes are kind of a, kind of the same sense, except you can lose your speech. It's like your brain goes kaboom. That's mm -hmm. kind of like a stroke. It's like when there's yeah, too much yeah. pressure, right? Yeah, I know. I've, I've been right. with somebody who's had it. I know what it's like. Well, I don't. I never had it myself, but I've been around people that have had it. So. Um, yeah, well, we started the show early. It's not yet 5:30. Yes, I so. know. We have to start early today. Oh, okay. But um, we all have. Please. You want to put any of your input in before oh, I? Oh, well, mental health for me. I mean, I know I'm sure there's lots of people out there who have had a genetic component, like maybe depression runs in their family, or maybe it's hereditary through your parents or something, and you get it even if things are going really well in your life. Whereas other people get depressed because, well, life's not always fair, and we kind of live in an imperfect world. And at least in my situation when I've been depressed, nine times out of ten it's been situational. It's been with things that have been like out of my control, losing a job, you know, getting into like debt, student debt, not being able to control your finances, maybe you lost a lot of friends that year. Yeah, financial you know? depression is a big one. Yeah, and sure. another thing that I was just reading, I was reading a book at the library the other day because I was really bored. Um, can't write, remember the exact title of the book, but it was just talking about the human brain. And, you know, love and addiction and depression, all these components that work scientifically in the human brain. And it said that humans are social creatures and obviously we need a lot of, you know, one-on-one -on -one interaction, not just behind a screen texting. Because I get really annoyed with that a lot of the time, misunderstandings happen with that. So you have to go out and be social and meet people, you know, it's really unhealthy to be locked up in your house. I mean, I know a lot of people, that, I'm sure, out in the world that are shut-ins, right? They don't go out of their house. Oh, maybe yeah, something I, I really bad happened to them. Like maybe they, who knows, they got raped. I don't know, who knows, right? Really bad uh, things happened to them. But me, for a personal experience, in 2017, I'm going to say now that I stopped talking or they stopped talking to me for a good friends of mine that I knew for like three or four years. Now, one of them, we got into a misunderstanding, unfortunately, which was 
kind of out of my control and kind of out of his control. He was a really good uh, guy friend of mine, besides Ray here, of course. Mm -hmm. Ray knows about the situation. It was, unfortunately, bus issues. I couldn't get up to uh, his place in time. He lived up way north of Toronto, and the buses don't burn very frequently going up to, like, the Barrie area. Anyway, it was really unfortunate what happened because I don't really know why he's holding a grudge, but I find out, like, I text him on his birthday back in December, which is, like, a few days before mine, and I'm like, happy birthday, and then he's like, who is this? And I'm like, seriously, you deleted my number from your phone because you're upset about something that happened way back in October because I couldn't like make it up to your place. And like, I let him know ahead of time, I'm gonna be late, I'm running late. There's nothing I can do. I can still try and make it up there. If you don't want to pick me up from the GO train, I can just take a taxi to your place. It's really not a big deal because I hadn't seen the guy in what, like 18 months? And that's a long time when you're close friends with somebody to not like hang out yeah, with. Yeah, that was right? like me. I I saw a friend that yeah. I hadn't seen in the, in the thing. I'm sorry. And uh, I'm sorry. Seeing in about three years. Oh, but I you reconnected see, again. Yeah, we reconnected oh, recently good. again. We kind of like severed again. Oh. Well, for us, it's kind of like touch and go. We I hate go that. away. We oh, come back. oh she, really? She's oh. she's very to herself in that sense. I don't know. Oh. I think I think like she's the only person I know who actually disappear off the face of the earth for like more than a year and no one will, oh. like no one will even know so it's like she, she oh, goes to narnia or something comes oh, no. oh that's that's weird well with him he's a very sensitive person i mean that's not just to me but to other people he'll block you off facebook he blocked me on facebook but i'm like blocking me on facebook because i couldn't come up to your place i mean really like we, we drifted a her in early 2017 during the spring and I actually called him up flat out and I confronted him and I left a message and said, what's up? You know, I thought he actually unfriended me on Facebook back in 2017 because he said he deactivated it for a bit. So I was saying, what's going on? I know we haven't hung out in a while, but I just wanted to catch up and see if everything's okay. I don't know if I did anything to upset you. And then he called me back and he was perfectly fine. He's like, yeah, no, don't worry, Emily. You know, I never do that to you. You know, I never block you off Facebook and then look what happened six months later. So I'm just like, you know, actions speak louder than words with everybody. It's not just friendships, but family, people in general. Sometimes people are worth keeping noise. Know, sometimes they are. I mean, you know, if, if he was to ever text me again or if I was to bump into him out of the blue, what are the chances of that happening? I mean, he doesn't live in Toronto. I don't know. Really? But you never know in life, you know, think funny things happen. If I were, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be rude. I wouldn't be hostile. I'd just say, how's it going? I haven't talked to you in a while. I'm sorry I couldn't make it up to your place that time. It was actually Friday the 13th when I was going to go up and hang out with him. And I'm not a superstitious person. I just think that's really coincidental. Hmm. Interestingly enough. But I was actually going to get my plane tickets from him because he works at a travel agency uh, to go and see my cousins down in Arizona. So maybe an idea is if I really want to reconnect, maybe I'll like phone up the travel agency where he works and say, look, I have someone who's getting, you know, going to get me some good deals on some plane tickets and I'd like to follow up with them and book them. What do you think? You think that's a good idea if I really wanted to? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess. I'm not, not sure. I mean, you, you could. It depends yeah. on the situation. Maybe. 50 50. Yeah, maybe just know. give a fake name first. Oh, dear. <laughs> no, put my middle name, Catherine. No, it's Catherine calling. It's Catherine <clears throat> Richards calling. You know, I'll have a fake accent as well. No one ever knows me. Exactly. Maybe. 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 But yeah, friendships, when you lose a lot of friends, I had another girl who was also from college who she just stopped talking to me. Like she had to drive, again, another friend outside of Toronto. And this is the problem with living in the 21st century. Not enough of us can afford cars, at least here in Canada, especially when you're under 25. So the other person that has a car either has to come all the way up to see you. And you know, I think she was upset that she had to come out to Toronto all the time to see me. And it's like, well, if you want me to go down to where you live near Kitchener, Cambridge, whatever, I can go there every once in a while by transit or I can meet you halfway. I mean, there's such thing as compromise. Yeah. And meeting someone halfway. Instead of just not talking to somebody and deciding to not be friends with them anymore, why can't we communicate? Not behind our phones, but maybe pick up the phone to talk to somebody? Yeah, that frustrates people, people me. can be lazy. I know, I, I can be too, but you know, if someone's really that important in my life and I've known them for a good amount of years and we've been good friends, I won't be like that. Yeah, that makes, makes sense. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's friendships and mental health. You know, I, I sometimes felt like um, a couple weeks ago, I actually ended up failing my work at home training because of tech difficulties. I think I was telling you all about that. No, you didn't tell me that you failed. You just oh. didn't come to do the show. Oh, and I was, oh, oh well, that, that was me myself, being depressed. You know? That was me being depressed yes, and me I, taking I, I a, a mental health day. Yes, I know. Gosh, wow, who told you? I didn't tell you until Our you. boss, you know. Our boss. Oh, <laughs> no, good no, one, no, good no, one. No, oh, okay. Well, anyway, yeah, so, uh, yeah, unfortunately, that was a really bad day. I spent all the money on phone equipment, headset, internet, everything, and I could totally fail the course, and they won't let me take it for another six months. 
So I wasted yeah, that, my time. That's how they work, that company. No, I know. It's garbage. That's garbage. Like, if I had known that it was so many tech problems, I never would have signed up for it. I didn't know it was that how bad. Much, didn't you have any paid for it, right? Oh, no, no. Thank God. The, the, uh, the manager who's in charge of it, they called the IBO, paid like 10 bucks on my behalf because I couldn't log in. So she was nice enough to do it on my behalf, so I didn't lose $10, but... I lost money with other things, with the equipment. Yeah, you bought that phone. Well, you know, that my phone, you know what? I take it, not really a uh, loss of money. It's just the headset. That's really a waste of money. Yeah, we didn't need a landline. No, phone. no, no. Sometimes it doesn't work in the basement. People can't hear me a lot of the time. I look like in a, in a basement and the reception's bad. So actually, yeah, I, I didn't waste my money. So it's a backup phone. Yeah, look my buddy. His basement every time, no matter what phone carrier that you have, your signal will drop. Oh, it's really annoying yeah. when that happens. So anyway, anything else you want to talk about, or like uh, with mental health addictions, anything like that? Well, I was going to continue yeah. going into like more about anxiety, but before I do that, yeah. I'm, I was I'm uh, I have to do my shout out. So I'll give my shout out to Carol and Jasmine. I know you girls are launching. You know I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Probably. Oh, Carol and Jasmine, <laughs> and you know one that I met. Uh, no, that you, you have introduced me to. Oh, met... Some friends that you met recently. Uh, no, I'll tell you about them okay, after anyway. Sure. So okay. um. Well, I was going on about anxiety, like anxiety still, as I was talking about. Mm -hmm. So about 12% of people are affected by anxiety disorder in a year. Give them between 5 and 30% are affected at some point in their life, right? Right. And it occurs twice as often in females than males. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't actually didn't know that. Oh. But um, okay. kind, of, kind of um interesting that females will get anxiety like twice as much as I think so. I have a don't mind me interjecting no, here no, no, no. I, I have a feeling Interject. that's why and it's not really something that I'd like to talk about publicly I'm a very private person about this kind of thing but you know females get that time of the month yes, right yes, which know. helps us reproduce and I think it's during that phase at least a week or two before it begins that we get anxiety at least I know that I do and uh, I think that's part of the main reason why females would probably be more likely to get anxiety than males. Another thing that I know about males that I've done research on is males are way more likely to commit suicide than females. Yeah. I know it's very depressing, yeah, but I, I, I can say that. Ma males have the balls to do it. That's all I have to say. I wouldn't <laughs> have the balls to do this. It's not funny. I shouldn't be laughing. It's really, it's a very serious subject. Oh, uh, yeah. But you know, do this, like I'd be afraid to even like hold a gun unless I'm acting in a movie. Or it's a fake movie. I'm just, I'm too scared of all that. I'm, I'd chicken out. I'd never be able to do it. But speaking of that topic, it is related to mental health and depression. Oh, yeah. I had a friend of mine from Coburg, Ontario, a friend of a friend. Um, well, she passed away way back in 2008. So, wow, I can't believe, almost 10 years ago. Holy, July of 2008. Holy, I can't believe that's 10 years ago. It feels so old. But anyway, she was just about to start high school. And I was... Uh, and I was friends with her friend, our best friends. Um, shout out to Laura. Uh, anyway, uh, Laura is friends with her. Her name is Abby Kempton. I'm just uh, giving a memorable tribute to her family. I know they went through a lot. She was bullied a lot in grade seven and grade eight. It's really sad what happened. I went to her funeral. It was open casket. And they have a YouTube video on Facebook all about anti-bullying in Coburg, Ontario. Because, she, you know, people made fun of her because she was, you know, she had some weight on her. But that's no reason to make fun of somebody. You don't do that to someone. That's really bad for people's health. It really doesn't matter. I mean, it's about what's on the person's inside and if they're a good or bad person. That's uh, that I look a lot, of, a lot of workplaces like that, though. Oh, they're shallow, don't care, right? Oh, hi, yeah. Angela. Angela is watching this. Nice. Uh, thank you for watching our show. And Andreas Cougar. Oh, thank you for watching our show. Thank you for being supportive. But anyway, my point being is she ended up hanging herself uh, with a rope in her parents' backyard. I think they had a play structure in their backyard. And her parents ended up coming back with her little brother. I think her little brother was in the house, I'm pretty sure. And her parents were so devastated. I mean, when I saw their reaction at the funeral, like, seeing this when you're 14 years old, I just, I just gave away my age, but seeing this at a really young age when you're barely entering high school, I mean, that just really affected me. And it told me, don't bully people no matter what. You know, bully, people bully you. I know it's time to get back at them, but they're doing it because A, they're probably not happy with themselves, and B, they're really insecure. Or it could be jealousy. Yeah, but, well, yeah. I mean, related to that, um, what, what you know about the train thing, you know, the, the amount of suicides I see. Oh, when yes, I TTC. So yeah. because of that, I went and um, applied to be a volunteer with distress centers. 
like a suicide oh, for, like, oh, crisis yeah. prevention. Oh, okay, yeah, like yeah. yep. So I'm waiting for a call back, but I think I'm probably going to get it. Oh, that's right? good. I told him, like, oh. you know, as someone who suffers from really mental good. health, like, I, I know how it is, you know, if I can help other people, mm -hmm. may as well, because you don't want to be that person who sees someone jump in front of a train. No. Trust me, I mean, I've seen it so many times. I've never so you, seen you, it. You don't, you don't want it. to see that. Too. Thank God. I mean, I saw her women hang themselves with a rope when I was 14 and open casket, but I've never once seen somebody <laughs> jump in front of a subway. That's funny how you oh, see yeah, that. I see it. I was like, one, it. one time, this guy kind of felt bad for him because honestly, the way it happened, he really should have not, shouldn't have like survived on the train. Hit him in the head. Dear Lord. That one I kind how? of. Felt how does that even happen? Well, he, 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 he ducked his head out when the train was coming. What? In. He went like this? Yeah. That's so. Yeah. What? Half of his body was there. Half no, of no, 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 no. He just hit him in the head. He did nothing happen. He just oh. whacked him in the head. Oh, by mistake. I don't know. Oh. No one saw this guy. He oh. just came out of nowhere. That's so weird. I don't even know how that happens. Either. Yeah, that, that's exactly. Oh. But nothing happened. He just it hit him in the head and he fell, fell down on because the platform. He was too close right? to the platform. He wasn't smart. He wasn't... Yeah, well, I don't know. That oh. thing is all like he just came out of nowhere, too. So we don't know. Maybe he planned. Oh, or... that's weird. Oh, yeah, that's, I, that's I've seen cool. a lot of these different things. Like, that's crazy. On the trains. Like, yeah. People say it's, it's messed up. You know, they shouldn't. They're, yeah. they're surprised that I see this. I'm like, yeah, I see, see that all That is time. surprising. Well, I'm just curious if the audience would like to leave in the comments below if you know anyone that's been affected by suicide, a family member, a close friend, or you yourself have had suicidal thoughts. You know, I know it's something personal. You don't always like to be open about it. But feel free to leave a comment below or just say you know somebody. You know, we'd love to hear your stories. And uh, I've got a couple of guest speakers coming up in the next couple of weeks that would love to be a part of the show. Yeah, I, I know Caswell. Caswell Shaw wants to be part of, um, Evan Mead, Travis Ray, and uh, I think that's all for now. Yeah, so we've got a couple of uh, male guest speakers coming up. Okay, yeah, my, my two guest speakers, I'll probably see if they want to come next week. They got sick today. Oh. Uh, I, had, I had, I think, uh, four that I was supposed to come today, but they all got sick. Four? It's like to, to, How do we fill that up? Well, okay. you, you fit in. You With fit six in. people? Holy. Yeah, right? or, you know, okay, well. Something like that. I think four and oh. only three were going to come. So I don't know. But oh, they all end up okay. canceling. Oh dear. It's Donald Trump? No, I'm oh, good. Oh, wow. Donald Trump here. Well, if he wants to be a guest speaker, hey, he's a publicized figure. If you get us good views for the show, I got no problem with it if we get us good views. <laughs> anyway, continuing on. Um, so, for me, I know I was really anxious during my work at home training, and it also wasn't my fault. I kept having tech problems. Like, the customer was supposed to beep in. They were supposed to hear a beep on your headset, and I only had two beeps within two hours. And you're supposed to get like eight to 15 calls within that two hour period, right? So they can test you to see how good your customer service goes on. Then I only get two. So I'm getting like these knots in my stomach. You know, when you're freaking out and you're anxious and oh, yeah, I, everything's out of your control. I'm like, what is going every on? Day. Oh yeah, I'm like, what the hell is going on with this? And I had no idea what the problem was. I think it was on their end. Cause a lot of other people in my class that I talked to told me they only got like seven calls in two hours. And you're supposed to get like 15 minimum. So it was, it was really weird. But what kind of things make you anxious? I used to be anxious before a test in school. I used what, to be anxious before. Well, for me, like, it's anything that triggers. Like, yeah. I mean, as soon as I put on my jacket, knowing I'm going yeah. outside, bam. I, feel, I just feel my chest start to lock. Yeah, I don't really. actually eat sugar. I don't have well, sugar in a lot. you used to. I know you used yeah, to. Yeah, I stopped back in yeah. September. Oh, yeah. No sweets. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty healthy in that sense. Well, it's uh, also for steak, me. Steak, well, yeah, I think I had yeah. steak, like, two weeks ago. Oh, wow. Well, I mean... Salad all Too much food. alcohol or smoking can do that to people. That's bad. I don't smoke. I rarely drink alcohol Plus, unless I'm social. But. Yeah, I also get um, this I don't know, sense of being dehydrated. I don't know if that's part of Oh, dry part mouth. Of, I don't dry know if that's mouth. part of the thing. Is you can't yeah. drink. If you drink too much water, you're going to kill yourself. Oh, because dear. You overwork your kidneys. Oh, dear. You can't drink that much water. That's not funny. Right? Because oh, then you're, you drop your magnesium levels. And, oh, uh, wow. I didn't know about that. Yeah, you have to watch how much water you drink because if you drink too much water, yeah, you'll kill yourself. I have been sick once and like, too much water yeah. when I was much younger. But yeah, yeah. Any, anything really triggers it. Like, I'll yeah. just put on my jacket and my, I'll just soon instantly feel my throat start to lock and my mm -hmm. chest start to hurt. Or, oh, yeah. You know, I'll be on yeah. an empty bus. Yeah. Or a full bus, empty yeah. train. No, anything really triggers it. That's why, like, I haven't really worked since, yeah. so, like, October was, like, last time I had, like, a, like I was actually doing a, a real job, right? I was doing right. Like side jobs, right? Yeah. But then I couldn't do it. I had to stop because I kept yeah. getting sicker. That's not good. Right. And at yeah. one time I was at this place. It's pretty nice. Um, little French pastry place down okay. by um, uh, where is it? Rogers Center. I think across from the Rogers Center. Okay. Or was it across from the aquarium? No, it was it was by the aquarium. I was doing the dishes. Then I hit the soap button. I don't know what happened, but 
all that the hot, burning hot chemicals sprayed down my throat, like in my face and into down my throat. What? Oh God, I oh. couldn't breathe. Oh nothing. boy. And the worst part is oh. it wouldn't let me go home. I had to deal with that pain in my throat, that oh. burning sensation for like six You were working there? I didn't know you worked there. I, that was like a side job. Oh, right? that was that company, that company in Montreal. Oh, remember? that place. They didn't want to pay oh. me. They sent me to that place. Did they end up paying you? Yeah, they did. Oh, they, good. they paid me. Oh, I think a week before Christmas. Oh, well, at least you got something. And then, okay. then like you know what? After that, I got to stop doing this. Like it's yeah. not worth my time. If I can send me all over the place, and I'm getting sick. not getting sicker. Yeah. But I'm getting sicker. And then I ended up finding on therapy. Right, you were um, telling the, me the, the, the therapy you know, that's right. covered by the government. You know, right, right. Pay for the therapy, yeah. which is actually pretty good. I'm seeing a psychiatrist on Wednesday. Isn't there a wait list for that? If you no, no, I, I, I walked right in. I don't know how you would do that. How do you There's actually, I think, seven or eight free mental health clinics in Toronto. Interesting. I thought they were all waitlist, no. most of them. That's what I thought. Are you, or You're waitlisted for the, psy for the psychiatry, because normally, oh. well, that's like two or three weeks, maybe. Oh. At the oh, most, okay. like two or three weeks. Right. Really, if you just want to go in and talk to someone, yeah, I can take you there myself. When I go, I can free you. Well, but, for um, me, sorry to interrupt, I, I, I don't see the need to see a psychiatrist know, because, again, well, I'm not going to change Well, it's not, it's not a psychiatrist. Right. They, yeah, it's like a therapist. They're seeing, the ther seeing only therapists. They can't give you pills. Okay, no, they're I know. There's people to talk to, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, yeah. there's no wait list for these places. It's pretty, pretty nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's an hour yeah. session. Oh, not yeah. bad. I go up to um, Woodbine, so it's not that bad. Oh, well, for me, some competitive things do make me anxious. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It really depends on the day. If I'm already having a bad day, like maybe I'm running late, maybe I'm going through some family problems, maybe whatever may happen, then, you know, I am going to be nervous going to, let's say, an acting audition because, you know, I've already got so much stress on my shoulders and I'm trying to focus on my lines and my character. But then again, on the other hand, flip side, if things are going well that day and things are running smoothly, then I'm probably not going to be super anxious. I'll be a little bit nervous, which I think is normal for any actor if you're going to an audition, but I'm not going to be you know, knots in the stomach, sweaty hands, you know, clearing your throat. When I'm anxious, I clear my throat and I swallow a lot. It's just a habit. I know you get dry mouth. Everybody has their habits. But well, me, it's either, the, it's either like the fact that my throat feels dry in my mouth too, yeah. right? or it's that my throat is locked. Like it's, oh. even right now too, like I, I, oh, yeah. like it feels like it's blocked. Right? Oh, I know what you mean. Like when you're about to cry, I get that. When you're crying, your, your throat locks up. Yeah. But on, on a ra random note, I, there was something I read, I was it yesterday, I heard it on the radio. You know, um, people who swear a lot okay. are said to be yeah. the most happiest what? people in the world. Most happy, you mean. Most happy, not most happiest, most happy. I, know, I swear I heard happiest on the radio. Okay, well, anyway, okay. the bad English on their part. Yeah, okay. they're, they're the most happy, they have the best love lives. Like, I'm oh, surprised. I, don't, I almost I'm don't like, believe that. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, people who swear a lot okay. are the most happy. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Okay. Which, don't, well, I haven't seen which radio station I was don't even remember what radio station it was yesterday. Oh, okay. That's weird. Yesterday that was really weird. Well, okay. I mean, I've heard the opposite. I've heard that if people are swearing excessively, A, they need to enhance their vocabulary, enrich their vocabulary, and B, they're generally frustrated and fed up with their lives. And they're not really the happiest. I heard the opposite, so that's uh, weird. I don't know. I was, I was listening to the radio, and I heard that. Yeah. I was like, okay, just, it was just like I was listening to the same radio station, and I found they're opening a brewery behind my apartment building, like down the oh, street from where I live. Oh. They're opening a brewery. Oh. Hey, Max. Hi, DJ Max. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, they're opening a, a brewery. Yeah. Like oh, behind yeah. where I live. I'm okay. Like, interesting. We have like oh. this TTC. Uh, yes, yes, you know, train. There's like this. There's a lot of weird stuff behind like my area. There's a bakery that's been had this oh. has had the same full time hiring sign for like four years, and the sign has not moved. They just never moved too lazy to remove it. No, actually. I don't think they haven't have even filled a spot. Really? For four years, this help wanted really? sign, full time benefits has been there, and I'm like, what goes on in this place for people to not want to like oh. either apply or that just is weird. Apply? What about that guy who said was homeless who makes his own YouTube videos? I never got to see him on YouTube. I never right, I need that. him on his channel. Like, he looks across the street from I me. I want to see that. He has like, yeah. he's, he was in like this kind of like shed thing and he yeah. does YouTube videos and he has yeah. power and stuff in his little shed and across the street from You're him. saying, Under the bridge kind that. of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's interesting. That is really funny. By the way, those of you who uh, follow me on Instagram, you unfollow me on Instagram, by the I way. I unfollowed your personal one. Both. Mm -hmm. came up as both. I got it on here. I got proof, man. I got it on the phone here. You unfollowed me I on both accounts. I swear, oh. I, oh, no. I, swear, I swear I only unfollowed the one, though. Oh, the personal one where I had my video. I bought a donut pillow. 
at Walmart yesterday. This like it looks like uh, one of the donuts from you know The Simpsons or Homer Simpson. Oh, where does he go again? He goes donut, whatever he does, you know. And I um, it's like 15 bucks at Walmart. I just did it to put a smile on my face. Why not? Even though I didn't really have the money to buy it, but I just said life's too short. So I, I made a video on my personal Instagram, which you unfollowed along with the other one. Okay. And I and I put my face through the middle of the donut and everything, and I made a video. Everyone thought it was hilarious, and I was doing a Homer Simpson impersonation. And apparently, I'm changing the subject, in, in LA, in Los Angeles, our, one of our guest speakers who will be featured on the show told me this, Evan Mead told me, that in LA they got this like miniature version of the Simpsons house in Los Angeles and they have like the donut, the, the donut with the pink icing and everything and the sprinkles, it looks exactly like the pillow that I bought at Walmart. Really hilarious. I should actually bring this to one of our shows. I should bring the pillow and show everybody what it looks like. Oh, me, I'll and put probably, it on your head. I'll probably bring all the crochet stuff out of oh, oh, yeah. Yep. Right now I'm making a dress. A nice oh. crochet dress. For who? Your family? Yes, yes. Oh, yes. your family. My, 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 oh. my other half's little one, you know, our little oh. one. I'm making her a dress. So. Oh, okay, so. great. See, look, that's her. Wow. Anyway, so okay. I'm making her a dress, and I've been fighting to get this dress properly. Like, so oh, I had yeah. to, I, I had to rip it back up to the arms, oh. where I made the armholes, and redo it all over again. Okay. Four rows to make it nice and straight. Oh, right? okay. Because it's, it's actually, I think, 52 rounds of yarn, right? So you have to keep oh, going and going. Well, that's going, patience. Right? How do you have the patience to do that? What I made her, yeah, I made her a scarf. How do you uh, do that? I, I made her a scarf. That? I made, um, a lot, I tried doing a giraffe as my first crochet project. Let me tell you, worst mistake of my life. Oh, okay. <laughs> because I didn't know how to do the, um, the circles and stuff. So you know what? Forget the giraffe. I'll do it another time. I did oh. her, I did a blanket for her oh. Jasmine. Oh, nice. And I did a scarf for Carol. Oh. And I'm doing a dress for Jasmine. Well, maybe I should show her my donut pillow and see if she likes it. And I'll put it on your head. It could look like a, a pink Mexican hat. You know those sombreros that they have in Mexico? You know the sombreros? And I made it really a funny. A donut video. sombrero? Yeah, I made it really funny. Everyone thought it was hilarious. <laughs> DJ Max yeah, thinks it's it funny. Next, he thinks it's hilarious. Next. Yeah, and I have the video here on my Instagram, M Carpenter 1993. If people want to see the video, it has over a hundred views. Everyone thought it was hilarious, except for you because you missed out because you unfollowed me, yeah, and I unfollowed you back, by the way, on both of my accounts. Okay. So, just letting you know. Whoop did you? And now you have less than ten thousand followers. Oh, no, I did. I did that. Oh. Oh. I, I took I away a hundred. Why would you want to do that? Because they're they're, they're bots. Oh, bots! Well, well, you lost a whole bunch. You had one point ten point three k. I had, like I had ten point seven. And by December first, those and I have nine thousand nine hundred fifty. They were all bots. You all, they had zero followers and all these fakes. No, they, they had all these. They had like so many followers. I, mean, I guess they're fakes, right? Oh. So. I did the sweep and I got rid of a lot of Instagram did the oh, sweep Oh, you blocked too. them and stuff. You had to well, block now them. there's a program I have on my phone. Oh, you show, show me. You delete the people who don't follow you back. Show yeah, me. Yeah, I showed you. Oh, okay. Hey, yeah, you unfollowed people who don't follow you back. Same with Twitter. One day I sat down and I unfollowed 4,000 followers. That better not have been me. I'm going to be angry. No, you're still you on You better it. be. I did, this, I did this back in November. Okay. Okay, good. Good. Jeez. Okay, good. No, no, my, my Twitter is like um, set up as a business. Yeah. This account, so I have this oh. this, this, this um, program that oh. that sends off like generated tweets about like oh. stock market and oh, nice. authors and all I sorts need to of... get more space in this iPhone. Know how many times a day it tells me you'll run out of space? I Please told you, go, to, go to Chinatown. Spadina. I know, Spadina. but it's what 150. How much you see, we need to put a new motherboard in. The motherboard can be as cheap as 60 bucks. Okay, but like, how much is it for them to do it? For him to put it yeah. in, I can probably get him to do it for May 75. Okay, well then show me, take me there. Like you have to, I don't know where to go. The board is about 60, maybe the labor, okay. I'd say probably 20. Well, I don't know where to go, though, no, where to go. I, I don't know. I'll, 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 I'll tell you where to go. It's okay. pretty, pretty simple. So you can get off the streetcar. It's like the second store besides that chicken farm thing. Well, it's a big Chinatown's a big area, so you have to be a little bit more specific than some chicken town thing. I said chicken, a... chicken like farm thing. Chicken was... farm, chicken farm in Chinatown. What's okay. Chinatown? Actually, you have to do a bunch of chickens actually, on a farm. Actually. They passed the the, the, the the law in Ontario where you're allowed to have up to five chickens living in your prop living on your property. What? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. Right now? You what? can have up to five chickens on your property. Even in Chinatown where it's congested and well, it's I, that's, I was making a general statement, okay. but yes, it goes from Toronto as far as I think Hamilton. Or really? farther. Yeah, but you're, allowed, you're allowed to have up to five chickens in your property. Well, only westbound, not eastbound. No, it's all over on I'm saying like oh. Hamilton one way and like oh. buildings. Oh, 
Oh, um, like, you, you can have it inside, I guess, if it's cold. But you even have apartment buildings? I, I don't know. Apartment buildings, yeah. you probably would not get allowed. I was going to say. But houses, yes. Oh. Because houses, you have the backyard, you have to make their little, like, chicken coop thing. But I oh. guess it's winter time, you probably put them in the house, right? Oh, it's wow. Fine. But, um, yeah. Well, then, that's interesting. Okay. Well, anyway, the chicken farm thing. You'll have to give me a specific address with a specific number where the intersection is, and then maybe I'll know where to go. Okay. To get this film fixed. Five eggs a day. Oh, oh I, I love think, eggs. I, think they I love farms. eggs. I love I'll eat three to four eggs a day for breakfast. But you gotta watch how you do those eggs. You don't wanna crack them when the chicken oil. falls out, you know? Chicken falls out. <laughs> what? You crack them and the chicken falls out. I make sure the eggshell doesn't get in my yolk. That's if not I what I meant. Said, what, the, what the heck do you mean then, genius? What Where do, do baby mean? chickens come from? Yeah, the mother hen. The mother hen. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, bad joke. I don't get your sense of humor. You're you're a weirdo sometimes. That's why you unfollow me, because you're a weirdo. No, anyway. No, I Yes, I know. Okay, continuing on. So, any more research? Where did you get your research from? I wanted to ask. Where did you find out uh, all this from information? Different ones. Uh, my own research. A lot of Wikipedia. I got some stuff on. Okay. Right. Sometimes Wikipedia can be reliable. Sometimes, sometimes not. You know, like I know in high school they don't want you to plagiarize information. Yeah, that's why you have Turnitin.com. The most like. Uh, Turnitin.com. Turnitin.com is how they like yeah. to screw you because really? you can do a whole essay, then you have to give it to the teacher. She puts it in through Turnitin, and then it goes to over I think five thousand websites okay. to make sure you didn't plagiarize. If you get pinged even once, you fail. You get zero. Oh. Even if one ping, if oh. like one word is like oh. one sentence you find on a website that's probably like in another side of the world in a different language oh. and it matches what you have, yeah, you get pinged. You, Turnitin.com, they made oh. that for students who plagiarize in high school well, mainly, but cool. they do it in colleges too. I should look it up. That's, that's fascinating. It's not bad. Yeah. It's a very annoying website. Oh, but, but it, it okay. is. It's, it's, it's not like, built very well? No, it's built very well, but like, even some, even like sometimes, the thing with Turnitin.com, it's just not, sometimes not always accurate too. Oh, but okay. But the mm -hmm. teachers will pick the decision of the website over you. Oh. That's interesting. Right? Okay. So I remember I filled a night school essay one time on um, humanities and I think South Africa or something. Oh, I yeah. an essay on it. Okay. And apparently I wrote like a whole half a page of like plagiarized stuff. Whoa, I didn't know. Good job. Oh, oh boy. Was, good like, job. So, well, well, there's another website which is really funny. It's not related to plagiarism or anything. It's called funnyjunk.com. And they have these really funny, some of the videos are educational, some of them are just plain stupid, some of them are gross, sick, weird humor. But it's a really good website, funnyjunk.com. You never heard of it? No, I, I, they had it out since 2005 when I was a kid. I think they still have it out. I should, I should double check. I don't know. But check. they did years ago anyway, unless it shut down. Neopets is still around. Yeah, I love Neopets. That's how they're still around. They have this, I want to buy one of they those. They have the 20-year anniversary ones right now. Where? Walmart? Well, check your Instagram. They're giving them away really? for free the other day. Well, on their official... Um, yeah. yeah. Really? Okay. Actually, I went to order three, but we kind of didn't have enough of my PayPal account. Oh. It went to my bank account. I wasn't oh, paying attention. Crap. And I got NSF. Oh, no. I was like, Shit. That sucks. So I had to oh. fix that because I ordered like three different oh, ones. Oh, those are right. awesome, though. Yeah, How 20, much are they? 20 bucks, you said? Well, the, or, the ship I paid, no. they were giving them away for free, right? Yeah. So when I got them, I didn't pay for an actual thing. I paid for shipping. So three was about fifteen dollars in shipping. Awesome. But if you actually want them without like paying for them itself, I think it's maybe fifteen dollars. With shipping, it's another probably ten to twenty five. Well, is that what the price was back in the day for them? Fifteen, twenty bucks? Yeah, I think so. Was it that cheap? I thought it was more than that for no, some I reason. Think it was like twenty bucks. I don't remember. Was it? Oh wow. I, I know from grade six I had them. After grade six, I don't remember what happened to them. But I just like all the little game and the buttons, and they had them at McDonald's at one point, a smaller version of them. Yeah, they had the rip-off ones at McDonald's. Yeah, I forget they weren't very good. I forget. <laughs> they had the little batteries, right? The little, um, what do they call them? A the triple, not triple A. I mean, a flat battery. They, right? Yeah, the little cell, the cell yeah, batteries. Yeah, those things, I hate those little things. Yeah, they're hard. Like, well, how many, three or four of them to put in? Oh, yeah, the watch batteries, you know, small little circle. Yeah, 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 those are watch batteries. So, it's like, what, one or two to put in a Tamagotchi? Maybe. Oh. It was like one or two, I don't remember. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I was just thinking the other day, my, one of, um, an, an old friend of mine told me once that when people go through things in their life, bringing back old happy memories from their childhood, even if it's like a Barbie doll, if you played Barbies as a, as a kid, as a girl, or maybe G.I. Joe as a boy, I don't know what I little boys played play with. with. Well, that's you, everybody's different. I played with Hot Wheels, I think. Oh, Hot Wheels, yeah, Hot yeah. Hot Wheels or, um, away. What do they call them? Uh, you know, Pokemon cards or whatever, right? Yes, it's Exhibit A. 
Yes, exactly. Well, uh, if you if you still look at those things as an adult, apparently it can bring a smile to your face because yeah, you remember I, what it was like to be a kid. Yeah, well, actually, if you kept a lot of your nerd, your nerd, your nerd habits, like yeah. Pokemon cards, your oh, magic yeah. cards, don't you money some Pokemon cards? Oh, they're work? worth a I lot, met, really. I met this one 10-year-old. Oh, yeah. It was back in 2012. Yeah. He used to buy Pokemon cards, like the, the, the boxes, $100 boxes, okay. crack the cards, yeah. the really nice ones you don't think you get money from, you can use his parents' eBay account, put mm -hmm. them on eBay, Get the money, flip the money, put it back in the account, take it out before his parents knew, bought another box, and it was like a rotation. I, by the time this kid went into high school, he had almost forty thousand dollars of cash saved up from what? getting from selling Are you Pokemon serious cards on eBay. right now? Are you serious? Yes. Wow. That's I met him when crazy. he was like ten. So yeah, what? by by the time you oh, end up wow. going to high school, he had almost like forty, forty or fifty grand. Saved up That's from nuts. just flipping Pokemon cards. You still in touch with the guy not so much. Oh, I, I, oh, okay. I was like when I back when I lived in a different when oh. I lived somewhere else. Well, that's interesting. I remember just this guy, this kid. Wow, like, that's insane. I'm like that's someone you know who'll probably make a lot of money in his future. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, anyway, speaking of friendships, I just wanted to go back to the topic of friendships. A lot of people. Oh. Thundercat. Uh, Thundercat cards. cards? I Thundercats what? Cards. I know there's Digimon cards. Yeah, I thought about that. And Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, right? I had Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. So continuing on here about friends. When you move around a lot, whether it be when you're a kid, when you're an adult, you're going to lose touch with your friends. Chances are no matter what. Unless you happen to move to the same area where your old friends lived. So for me, you know, going to five elementary schools and three high schools, which I think I shared before, you moved a lot too. You're going to lose touch with your friends. You're going to have to constantly make new friends. And the new friends become old friends. Just this kind of like vicious cycle every time you move. So that's why, you know, I've been in Toronto now for about three years now, this January, I've been here three years. And most of my friends I haven't lost touch with besides the ones that I mentioned from last year. But most of the people that I've been talking with since 2015, we're still friends. You, a few, a few other people. And it's really good to have that social network because if you do want to leave for acting or you do go to an audition in another country like the States, you still want to keep in touch with those friends. I mean, even if you only visit each other once a year, it's still nice to have them yeah. far away, right? So it makes it challenging in today's world, though, to, do, to maintain friendships because people are always on social media. People move a lot for they jobs. They have their own agendas, basically. And for work. Oh, like what? Hidden intentions? What do you mean? No, like everyone has like different, like all different agendas. I mean, like friends drift apart or they'll go, they'll come back. Like one, yeah. my friend right now. Yeah. She's traveling the world. She's in Tokyo right now. Oh, she was in okay. Taiwan for a month. Oh. Then she was in uh, Japan for a month. You never mentioned me to her, did you? No, 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 no I never. Oh, okay. I met her when I was working, working in Castle Over. Interesting. Oh, and, that's um, cool. Yeah, she she's a theater girl. Like she has ah. her own theater shows and stuff too. And now she's yeah. traveling the world. Interesting. That's oh. what she does. And then she'll come. Then with her, though, the cycle is she'll go travel for like I don't know a year or two. Uh, somebody know. wants hi, Kenneth Diaz. You want oh, a kiss, kiss from me? Okay, <laughs> thank you for watching. Yes, okay, I'm glad you enjoy our show. <laughs> so, yeah, your, your friend there. Yeah, she, she, she'll she do that. I know she'll probably travel for like a year or two, and then she'll come back to Canada. And then she'll work like a work her, her career for maybe like another year or two, pay off the debt that she accumulated from traveling for two years, and leave again for another like year or two, and travel Whoa. over again. She's not, she has not stable housing. She's like a gypsy. What does she do for housing every time she travels? Where does well, she? She has family all over the world. Oh, that's why. Well, then that's, well, that's easy. I don't know. I, the and thing is, is actually... Maybe, or maybe she does her shows around like in different countries. I don't know what she does. Well, I mean, if you have an RV or a trailer, that's only limited to yeah, North America. She just, she just travels around. That's I crazy. see her like different, different pictures in different places. Like one time, she um, she like lived in a forest for a couple of weeks, and I uh, saw, saw all the different pictures. What? And stuff. In a rainforest? Some some forest. I don't oh, know. Oh, weird. Have to double check her. her that's profile. interesting. Well, I mean, I can understand you know working at a job for a couple of months, saving enough for a flight, but then you just like. You know, going really uh, spontaneously, you know, you're kind of just winging it. Going to a country and winging it when you don't have a lot of money saved up, when you don't have a job lined up there, or some kind of income lined up there, no family there. That's a bit of a gamble. I'd be a little scared to do that. The only way... Hello, you know? Edgar. Hello, Edgar. Thank you for watching our show. The only way I would say you can actually do something like that is if you're a blogger. Oh, yeah. Bloggers make their money off their websites. That's especially true. travel bloggers. True, true. That's true. Yes. Like, travel yeah. blogging, if you're good, you can yeah. make a lot of money. I've heard. I've heard. Yeah, of I know it. a lot of people yeah. who do travel blogging. Most right. of the most of the real followers I have on my Instagram are travel bloggers. Oh, that's cool. Also, there's this nice um, bed and breakfast in Italy that follows me too. They've been, they've been telling me I should go and 
go down to Italy to a better breakfast. Oh, they, oh there's also vloggers, vloggers versus vloggers, video vloggers. vlogging on YouTube. Yeah, vlog, vloggers are a little bit different. They, they, can, they can make their money too, but it, it depends on how they do it. Interesting. Right? Huh. Speaking of which, I just found out on my old YouTube account, which I no longer use, it's under the name That Curly Haired Canadian, which is just an old account that I've had since 2012. I just found out that I barely did anything on the account, even though it's been around now, well, it been six years now, yeah. I made a total of $35 in revenue. Nice. After having it for six years, I know it's a really long time, and I'm surprised. And now I don't know how to get that revenue oh, because have... it went on my old address. It won't let me update the address or anything on the AdWords, AdSense thing. It, you probably won't. Well, I, you'd have to show me because yeah. my, my AdSense, it goes straight into my bank account. I don't know how you, how you set that my, up. Mine is set up because I yeah. set mine up, my AdSense up originally as a blogger. Okay. Right? So when I add YouTube onto it... Yeah whatever accumulates onto AdSense mm -hmm. is paid up. But with AdSense, you can't get paid out until you get $100. So oh. I've, I've had the same oh. $30 okay. sitting in my AdSense oh, wow. account for like five years now. Oh, wow. That's like me. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So until you get 100 bucks oh. accumulated, you can't get your money. Oh, crap. That's they really the rule. push you. Wow. And they pay you every two weeks. If like, oh. it's a real job. So if you can oh. you can accumulate your 100 bucks, you yeah. get it in two weeks. Right? You get it on the right. 15th, I think, of... Yeah. 15th and then the 31st or something like that. So to accumulate 100 bucks, I assume you need the minimum of 1,000 subscribers or 10,000 views. Right? Yes, but now if you've been watching your email, they, they mm. changed their rules where what you have until called? January 31st to hit 10,000 subscribers and 4,000 views or they delete your channel. What? Read your email. I got it. They never sent me anything. Okay, I checked I, my I got that email. email. They never sent me anything. They never told me anything like that. That's crazy. Yeah, That's you right? have until the 31st to get, I think, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 views. Well, that's going to delete everybody's YouTube accounts. Whoever, your whoever accounts is going to be deleted. Yeah, whoever isn't, like, keep what? maintaining their, their YouTube volume. Because they're, they're getting tired of too many, like, useless accounts. Or, like, people who don't, they're not pushing enough content to get the views they need. And that kind of makes, wow. slows down the YouTube servers because oh, of so many dead YouTube accounts. There's so many, like, low, like, low. Well, they should, I think, in my opinion, they should do that if you're not logging in or you're not uploading. But if you're uploading and you're still not getting those views of your subscribers, you're trying your best. They can't expect much more. You're trying your best. What are, uh, they're going to start with the people don't, who just, like, have accounts and don't upload anything. That's the oh. first, first pool of people. Lord, okay. Right? And then after that, then they, they work their way up, right? It's called, it's called a clean-up, right? Wow, okay. Just, well, huh. I upload, or if you have a bunch of videos, but they're still getting views, you haven't uploaded in a month or two, but you're still getting views. Yeah, that, that reminds me, I still need, uh, I need to upload some new stuff to my channel, I keep forgetting. And our channel for this as well, I still want to work on that with you. We still got to like work on that, we haven't worked on it in a while. It's a new year now, new beginning, new resolution, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay, well, um, oh, and I still need the password for our Instagram, I want to update that too, because I don't expect you to do all the work, I want to help out. Yeah, I, I kind of uh, gave up on that one. I have, okay, I have well, time to maintain. Well, I have characters. some time that I can. I'll give you the password. It's the same thing. I think it's like yes, you'll tell me Gmail, later on. Okay. But did you know? Yes. Um, you can also get tumors from anxiety. Uh, well, all that, that doesn't surprise me because you want to know why anxiety causes inflammation in your body and inflammation causes cancer. And, that, and that, that's a funny, why. funny point yeah. because all the all the problems in my head that they can't find. I'm like, and I read this, I'm like, you know what? That could be a very interesting. Like thesis, uh, interesting like discovery. I'm like, I didn't know you can get tumors from anxiety. There's also other things too, like heart problems, which I can relate because yeah. my heart beats really fast and they don't know why either, right? That's not good. Right? Sometimes you can't mm -hmm. even breathe. Or, yeah. Mm -hmm. It says right here elevated yeah. heart rate, skin yeah. sensation. Yeah, yeah, I can, yeah, I can know that when my hands get all like me. shaky and stuff. It's, yeah, that's, headaches, yeah. you know, weight loss. Yeah. Down, yeah, weight loss would probably, um, Explain what happened in April. Did I tell you about that? How I lost April um, last year? Yeah. We, when we first met, I oh, didn't. Oh, yeah, you told me you lost 40 pounds or something. Yeah, 40 right? pounds in, 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 in a month. I lost oh, yeah, 40 pounds that. in a month, and the doctor said yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. I'm like, are you smoking something, man? Oh, boy. 40 pounds in yeah, a month. Yeah, it's a little nuts. Right? Yeah, and you weren't starving yourself. You were eating no. normally. I was eating normally. That's weird. Right? Because I was weird. still. I think that was like my slow, that was when I first started to really push my medical stuff checked, right? right so I, I yeah. was eating a lot more yeah. and doing a lot more stuff, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That actually happened to me now that I think about it. Way back when I was in high school, when I was like 15, and I think I was on some kind of stupid medication, which I'm never going to take again because I didn't like what it did to me, but... Um, actually, I think it was before I was on my meds, I dropped a whole bunch of weight. I think I went from like at 15, I went from like whatever it was... 135 pounds, 130 pounds to like 110 pounds. 
within maybe two months and my body mass index was way below average like you know your bmi 18s on the lower end 25 it's i think it's 18 between 18 and 25 is your bmi and then anything above 25 is overweight or getting into the overweight range and then closer to 30 you're getting obese but i think i was like what barely at the 18 level so when i was 15 i'm five foot nine now so i probably would have been like what five six five seven depending on when you start growing, because when you're female, you generally start growing when you're 16. But I don't know, I had so much stress going on. I was like trying to, you know, I was in grade 10, and I was worrying about my exams, and I was stressed out, I wanted to pass them, and I had science where they made you do all this complicated math and physics, and I was so scared I was gonna fail my exam. I had such bad anxiety and stress over it that I was like eating, and I like literally, you could see my rib cage, and like my pants were falling off of me. Like it was really bad. I haven't had that bad weight loss since I was 15. Hmm. So I've gone through that kind of thing before. It's really it's really bad. Or other people don't drop weight, you know, smoking or drugs, but you didn't do any of that, neither did I, right? No, it just happened. So that's not your fault. That's not good. It's like, you know, something's wrong. But um, yeah. anyway, that can be more of, like, the topic for like, the next week. For sure. So yeah. just to like, just remind you guys, if you want to sponsor us, yes. contact us personally, or yeah. you can call the station at 647-857-4454, or even... The email frequency 5 fm at gmail.com remember to follow our social media sites and yep. you can follow our personal ones yep my is, is emily c official e-m-i-l-y c official c for carpenter which you have to follow yeah, again so by the way i'm gonna remind you very good good and then okay. mine well you guys know rain in for 31 and that's really it for this show thank you guys for tuning and in our youtube we're going to be working on yes which is the emily and show. show which yes. we will upload this video we on will be later. and other videos we, that's my priority work on that this year we've okay. been slacking off okay, we'll get on okay. That. And thank you guys for watching thank you so much for the support week. bye, -bye.